Good afternoon, you guys. So, um, I'm going to a wedding pretty soon. It's my cousin's wedding, and there's actually like a huge snowstorm happening right here in Minnesota. And so, um, <laughs> We have to leave kind of early. So first things first, I did a face mask. I did like an exfoliating one. Whenever I'm going somewhere, I specifically love to do a face mask, whether it be exfoliating or radiance or whatever. Um, so I did one of those. I'll leave the links of everything that I use down below. Also, I did whiten my teeth. I use my white with style, which actually this is their new kit, which I'm really obsessed with. Um, this is what it looks like. And um, it works really well. Oh, I gotta charge it. That's what I gotta do. It comes with a charger, which is awesome. So if your batteries go out or whatever, you can charge it up. Um, this whitening, um, I've noticed, makes my teeth this won't stop. Um, makes my teeth like visibly whiter with one treatment compared to the other one that I use, the white with style, which I love. I still love this one. Works really fast. Oh, I have a coupon code for that below if you guys wanted to check it out. It's like a super good deal. I think I get like 80 or 90% off. It's like normally $2.99 and you guys can get it for like 30 or 40 bucks. Check it out. It's so amazing. Also, it makes a really great Christmas gift too. Okay, so I just put on the MAC strobe cream. I like to do that. It makes my skin just like a little bit more radiant. I have normal skin and I like to be dewy. That is my thing. So next I take just my eye primer right here. I just use this Smashbox Studio. This is just like a concealer. You can use a primer. I personally, my only primer that I use on my clients, if you guys didn't know, I do um, freelance makeup here in Minnesota too. So I do a lot of brides. A ton of brides and I mostly for them use a uh, Mac paint pot in painterly or soft ochre anything that covers the redness of your eyes okay after that's done I set my concealer with um, just a matte white you can get any sort of matte color I'm just using the tartlet in bloom and I mix the white with the cream color below and that just sets that so that you don't have any creasy eyeshadow. I do, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, I, um, follow me, it's just the court report. I have, um, my eyebrow routine on there. So if, I'm just gonna skip that totally today because, um, I have that saved in my highlights so you guys can check that out. Okay, first things first, I am taking my fawn say anastasia beverly hills yeah i need to buy another one of these actually it's my favorite brown color ever it's such i mean you can tell that i use it all the time this is i use this on everybody because it's just like a neutral beautiful normal brown without being um too cool of a brown or too warm of a brown it's just a super great crease color um at to find your crease, if you don't know how to find your crease and you're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. If you were to look at yourself in the mirror and it's like straight dead on, you look at yourself and it's right above where you would be looking. So if you, and you just do windshield wipers motion back and forth. And I do my crease, but I also do the side, um, the side two, the outer V people call it. I like to bring this color pretty far up. Okay, so once you get that crease color in there really well, um, I take a smaller brush. Um, it just looks like this. It's very small, but it's flat, kind of like that. Um, I don't know why I love this, this brush, but I do. So I take a little bit of, I need to check, um, Sienna from Anastasia Beverly Hills and then hot chocolate from Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's like a little bit of a reddish brown and then um, a, this hot chocolate color is a little bit more purpley. I really like it a lot. And I just bring that in the outer V and in just the inside of the crease. So I don't bring it above my brow bone or above um, the crease, I keep it below that crease. So if you're looking, if you're looking like this, it's 
right there, not above it. So outer and then right in that crease. Okay, and then I'm taking my fluffy brush that I used for fawn and I just kind of blend that. No harsh lines. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take this sienna color, get a decent amount, and just kind of blend it, make it a little bit more reddish, which I like because I'm wearing like a red jumpsuit today. This is like a more of a brick, but it'll bring it together. And then I, I'm gonna take a little bit more of fun and frappe, which is uh, Makeup Geek. It's just like a lighter, um, taupey color. And I blend those together. And these are all colors that you can find in a decent amount of palettes. I think the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Renaissance, Modern Renaissance palette is probably the best palette you could use to recreate this without having to buy all this sin single individual shadows. Okay, so I sprayed my brush with just all nighter because I love a good pigment. Yep, it's wet. Okay, so then I take a uh, starry eyed and Luna from Makeup Geek. Oh my god, they're my favorite. Okay, so I got my lid color, and then I'm taking my little flat brush again. Where'd you go? Um, and I'm going to take Sienna and Hot Chocolate again, the two, the reddish and the purpley, and then I'm going to just kind of lightly blend that in the crease too. Just like that. And it's a very light hand. With these colors and stuff, you don't need to like press very hard. It's just a very light hand of blending and blending and blending. And okay, that's and then I'm going to take Soft Gold by Anastasia Lee, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's just this color right here. It's almost also very gone. I need to make a I need to make an order. I use that on my brow bone. It is you guys, oh my gosh. This is a very pretty highlight color. Now I'm going to be taking my primer, which is just this touch and soul. I don't know, I don't, I don't specifically love or hate this. I just have it, so I'm using it. Um, most of the time on normal skin, I use, I will link these below for you guys. Um, for normal skin on clients, I use the Too Faced primer, I can't even remember the name, I'll link it below. And then for oily skin, I use um, Smashbox, the purple primer, it's amazing. Okay, then I'm going to take this Hydro Boost by uh, Neutrogena, which I've been using all summer. If you have ever wondered what foundation I'm using, it's probably this one, it's amazing. It doesn't have super high coverage. So I also mix it with Revlon Color Stay. It's an oldie but a goodie. Oh my gosh, I've been using this forever. So after foundation, I just take my concealer, which is Maybelline Fit Me, and I think this one, yeah, 15. Which is a tad light for me right now, actually. I I mean, it, it's, a, it's light when I just self-tanned, which I just did last night, so. And then I take my beauty blender and I just blend it in.
And then I am taking a cream blush. This is from a palette that I got um, from a cosmetics site. I don't um, I don't know. It's it's from Friends Beauty. I don't know if you can buy it somewhere else. I'm gonna have to look. But uh, my friend here in town, she swears by it. And then I started using it on clients and stuff. And I love it, love it, love it. So I just do. Hey, bub. I just do cream blush because it's one of those things that blush is the first thing that will come off of your face um, first. And blush, I feel like, brings a lot to the face. He's rock climbing on my pillow wall. After that, I just take some liquid highlighter, which is, this is Becca in Opal. Love this. This is also a game changer once you start using a highlighter, a liquid highlighter, I feel like you'll never go back. It just like makes your skin look like it's glowing from within, even though it's just, it's totally Is you just really dewy look. Mm -hmm. This is fun. I'm taking my highlighter brush, which is just the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I love it. I love it. It's it's perfect. Okay, so I take a little bit of this Essence highlighter, pure nude. It is amazing. It's like three dollars. I swear to you, but it is like a must-have. So I use this under every highlighter. Some, I mean, some days when I'm barely doing makeup, I will just use this highlighter. Because it, it takes, you can build it, but, and it takes a little bit to build, but it's so pretty. Okay, and then I'm taking Champagne Pop by Becca and adding that on top because they're like a little bit of a golden highlight. And I do, you guys, I love highlighter, so this might be crazy a ton for you. Probably is, but. Um, and then I take my NARS blush in Dolce Vita. 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 It's this color. It's very pretty. Do you guys like my my blush brush? I just haven't gotten a new one yet. Um, but I just... This is a very pretty blush. Um, a little goes a long, long, long way. I've had this forever and have not even made a dent in it. Okay, and then I just take my Airspun translucent powder and I will set underneath my eyes. Which every time before I set, I make sure I have no creases. That goes for like when I'm doing bridal makeup too. I always just make sure I have no, nobody has any creases before you set it. Because if you set it with creases, you'll get creases all day. You'll just have them. So I do a little bit of contouring which already you can tell does so much okay and then I take my bronzer this is my bronzer brush it's this brush is just from Target and I got this palette from my friend Taylor uh, she is um, Taylor Wynn or Taylor from the Taylor and she gave this she sent this to me and I am obsessed with this actually the highlighter in here is gorgeous but I'm using the bronzer the bronzer is black or Mahini. I did, definitely didn't say that right, but I love this bronzer. So I basically just bronze in my cheeks and up in my forehead and around. And then I take my little bronzer brush and I just kind of this is my smooth over brush. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick and then I'll come right back.
Okay, so I basically just applied some lashes. All I use is, I don't have it with me, it's in the bathroom, um, is the Wispies by Ardell's. They are cheap and work really well. I like, if you have smaller eyes, I would go with the Demi Wispies, but these ones are, I love them so much. I think they just like add a lot without being too crazy. You know what I mean? So, um, and then I added a line over that because I do not like my glue popping up. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more mascara and blend them together. Sometimes I will um, curl them together with my eyelash curler. Sometimes I don't. I don't know, I guess it depends on the day. Okay, um, since I already did my eyeshadow on the bottom, all I have to do is add my nude liner, which I always do. It's one of those things that's it's like my routine now. It just brightens it up. I use the Remmel um, Scandalize in Nude. It's my favorite. It's not white. It's just like a good nude color. Okay, I'm just going to do mascara on my bottom lashes really quick and I'll come back. You guys don't really. Okay, so I just finished my mascara on the bottom and I'm going to add some lip gloss. I am not a lipstick girl at all. Lip gloss, I can do lipstick. Ah, I try, I try. I think it's because of my tiny lips I can't handle myself. Okay, this is Fenty Beauty in Fussy. My friend Emily told me about this too. So yeah, this is basically my whole look. I'm going to set my makeup. I always try to put my hair up for this because I don't want my hair getting curly because of this. Okay, so I'm gonna set my face. I soak my face. <sighs> Feels so good. Um, if you have oily skin, I would totally use the de-slick of this stuff. It's amazing. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video just like a really quick like getting ready with me and um, Thumbs up if you like it share it if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye